Good morning! So I'm super excited. Today I'm going to be getting either uh, fractional or microneedling. They're both resurfacing for the skin. She's going to let me know when uh, she takes a look, what she thinks would be better for me, but I have always suffered from like cystic breakouts and every single time I get a breakout it leaves a mark on my skin. I've got huge pores and kind of uneven texture right now. So I'm really excited to see if I get a good result and I'm going to take you along with me, let you see the whole process, give you my thoughts, give you my daily updates on how everything looks. So yeah, I'll see you in a little bit for the treatment. Okay, so this is immediately after. I am looking pretty cray. Uh, it didn't hurt at all. It was super numb, so I was super nervous. I thought it was gonna hurt and it was totally fine. Uh, yeah, it looks like I have a pretty bad sunburn and she said it'll probably feel like that later. So my initial thoughts were it wasn't bad at all. I was actually really excited. I can't wait to see how things look. So this is my first check-in right after. Uh, you can see how things look and I will be back tomorrow to keep you updated. Good morning, it's day two and as you can see, I'm still pretty red. It is definitely tender, definitely feels like I have a bad sunburn. Um, to be totally honest, I actually thought it was going to be a lot more intense and invasive, so I'm actually not upset about that at all. I am going to show you what products I'm going to be using for the next few days. Uh, obviously avoiding any acids, anything like that. She told me yesterday um, just not to wear makeup the day that I had the treatment, but I kind of feel like why I even bother messing with all the bacteria and any kind of extra products and junk. I'm gonna keep my skin really clean and fresh and just obviously lots of sunscreen to keep it protected. But yeah, I just washed my face and I definitely feel a little bit of burning in this area more so than anything else. Um, I know that there's obviously not as much like meat on the face on the forehead so probably that's why it was probably a little bit more aggressive there but yep this is a look at today just feels like a sunburn i'm really excited to start seeing some results so yeah i'm gonna go show you the products that i'm using and i'll be back with another update gentle cleanser it's just a mild cream cleanser for sensitive skin it's really good for uh when skin is compromised i've you can see i've used a ton of it because i've used it I've had this forever uh, when I've had peels and things like that. It's just really good, gentle. It's not going to strip your skin. Uh, super basic from the drugstore. Just a set of fill moisturizing lotion. It's fragrance free, no dyes. It doesn't have any extra stuff that's just going to irritate my skin at all while it's healing. And then most importantly, in my opinion, is an SPF. This is SkinCeuticals SPF 50. Uh, it's a physical sunscreen, not chemical, so I just find it to be much less irritating than um, chemical sunscreens can be. This one's tinted, which is nice because it kind of diffuses a little bit of the redness. Wow, my skin's healing up. And just a really simple eye cream, just because I literally like, cannot live without eye cream. I'm pretty obsessed. So. These are the products I'm using for the next few days. I'm trying to stay away from acids and kind of just makeup in general, just really keeping my skin super basic, hydrated, good sunscreen. So yeah, these are my products. Good morning, it is day three. I'm just gonna go ahead and just like preface the whole thing. Like, I look 
crazy in the morning and I'm doing these very real, very raw check-ins where my face is puffy and sleepy faced and I look like this and I can't believe I'm actually going to share this with the world, but here we are. So uh, this is day three. I woke up this morning and it's pretty, It's the, the redness is pretty minimal. I think at this point it's pretty much like would only really be super noticeable to me. Uh, it's gone down a lot. And I don't know if it's too soon or if it's my imagination, but I kind of feel like my skin's starting to look better. Like it feels like a little bit smoother. Yesterday, when I washed my face, even with a gentle cleanser, it felt pretty tingly. So it was definitely feeling pretty sensitive. And um, I skipped the gym because I was like, oh, I don't really want to sweat with this my skin like that, you know? But I did take my kids to the park in the evening and my forehead sweat a little bit and they like burned. I'm like, so glad I didn't go to the gym and my skin felt like a little bit rough so I was kind of like oh, okay maybe it's gonna peel maybe it's gonna slough off like I wasn't really sure well this morning I woke up and I kind of obviously my skin still looks pretty haggard at this point but I feel like it looks smoother like maybe it's doing something I'm not sure we will see time will tell uh, but I kind of yeah it feels nice it feels really soft today it feels smooth it feels definitely way less irritated I don't really feel like I just washed my face I didn't feel anything at all uh, so that was good and yeah so I'm excited to see what's happening I like where it's going and I will be back tomorrow probably with my final check-in I'm in a wedding this weekend and I'm crazy enough to try microneedling five days before I'm in a wedding but all in all I think it's turning out pretty well so I will be back tomorrow with probably my final update so yeah see you then Good morning! So today is going to be my final check-in. I'm going to give you uh, my thoughts and do I think that microneedling is worth it? And yes, I do. So I woke up and I feel like each day my skin has progressively looked better. Uh, I definitely see a difference, a noticeable enough of a difference that I would in fact do this again. I feel like my skin looks smoother. It looks a little bit more even. It definitely has like a nice glow, which I'm super excited because I am, like I mentioned, in a wedding this weekend. There's going to be lots of pictures. So I'm super happy with it, actually. I um, I know that it's recommended to be done in a series. So I wasn't expecting anything life-changing, obviously. But this treatment is definitely, I mean, minimal to zero downtime. You know, the day of, my skin was red. It wasn't painful. The numbing cream was awesome. I don't really see any negative side effects at all, so I would absolutely, without a doubt, do it again. I really enjoyed this whole process. Uh, I know the lighting obviously isn't super exciting. I didn't want to use a ring light. I really wanted to do this more vlog style, do it in my bathroom, just some natural light so that you could really see what's going on with my skin, unfortunately. <laughs> but, you know, I want to be honest about it. I want you to really see it. and. So yeah, this is my final check-in. I am about to head off to the gym. Gotta get my nails did, get my tan on, because I don't wake up real cute. But I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe and let me know what else you'd like to see. Thank you so much for watching.